starring on this <laughs> next episode. <laughs> this next season. Uh, which, uh, well, you guys heard about Michael Hogan, right? Yeah. About yeah. Star Galactica. We're very excited about him coming aboard. Jay Clark. This guy. This hasn't been announced. Before. <laughs> She's over there. Go ahead. You're fine. <laughs> Uh, let him yell at me. Jay Carnes from The Shield, one of my favorite actors, is going to be uh, has a series arc on the show. Anybody you'd like to work with, or you'd like to have on? That you can oh yeah, yeah. There's tons of people. I mean, name them all. I guess there's lots of people we we would, we would love to have. You know, Jelko Ivanek back. Um, there's uh, there's quite a few. So you're the man who has the ability to change the future. I suppose. <laughs> heavy. That's um, a heavy, uh, heavy burden. It is, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, just with, uh, you know, with Cole's mother as uh, one part of the show, um, they're, they're kind of hinting at, like, you know, deeper types of mysteries. Like, is that something we're going to see in season two a little bit? Um, you, this Season two is focused on what do the 12 monkeys really want. Was the plague only part of their plan? It seemed like it. Um, and why would they want to kill 7 billion people? Um, so we're going to learn a lot more about that. There was, a, there was a sequence quite a few times about this red forest business that we've been hearing about. This woman keeps talking about it. It seems very important. It seems like time is in flux in this place. And what does that mean? We're going to learn out what that is and how that fits into their larger view of the world and time itself. You said on the panel that insanity is going to play a big part in season two, which yeah. I'm excited about yeah. because of the film. And I was just wondering, are we going to delve deeper into Cole? Cole, Cole has uh, quite a few things to deal with beyond neurosis this season. Um, particularly, this season is about him becoming a leader. About it's going to be up to him to get these band of crazy travelers and scientists to work together to save this because it's going to become infinitely more complex for them. So, um, but along the way, yes, he has his own issues that he's dealing with. Um, you know, he was a scavenger from the apocalypse, killed a lot of people. I think now he's found a lot more humanity, you know, through, through, through knowing uh, Cassie. So that's going to fight with itself. But insanity itself is going to deal with what the 12 monkeys are doing. And um, Jennifer Goins is a major part of the mythology. And people like Jennifer Goins. Oh, she does crazy so well. <laughs> she is impressive at it. Gen uh, yeah. M M yes. Yeah. If you want a great crazy performance, hire a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you talk about what the Cole and Ramsey dynamic is going to be? It's, it's complicated. Um, we start the season off a bit more than going back to their Butch and Sundance, but it's a Butch and Sundance were a divorced couple. You know, uh, they they have a they have a lot of baggage, a lot of betrayal that they both feel about each other, but they love each other. So it's it's a brotherhood. It's a, it's a, anybody who's had siblings know that you know you love your siblings, but sometimes you want to kill your siblings, and that's but you do anything for them. That's where we start that. I thought um, Jennifer and Ramsey had these great, like, massive character development trajectories, like from the beginning of the season to the end. Is there going to be anything like that again? Yes, okay. yes. Uh, Jennifer Goins has quite, quite a great arc this season. Uh, you're going to love if you love Jennifer last season, you'll really love her this season. Um, and the same for 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 Cassie and, and Cole. Um, and Jones, uh, Jones has a really interesting, really interesting emotional story that's unexpected this year. Is Jennifer the antagonist in season two? Certainly seems like that, but uh, in 12 Monkeys anything is possible. She's also, it seems like she was under the influence of that woman, Olivia, the striking woman. Uh, so how much is that really coming from Jennifer, or is Jennifer a patsy? Has Jennifer been manipulated? It's something we're going to need to see. Uh, identity of the witness is going to be revealed. Um, very likely. You, you will come out of season one, season two going, 
holy shit. It's not what you'd expect. It's not what our characters would expect. Um, the, the, yeah. This. Uh, Travis mentioned he's a fan of Doctor Who. Yes. You a fan of time travel? I own, I own uh, a DeLorean time machine. An actual DeLorean time machine from the Memphis <laughs> Studios. I helped help restore... So then uh, yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> restore one of the original time machines for Universal Studios, so I'm a huge time traveler. Is that what attracted you to write like, a story? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, uh, movies like The Final Countdown, Time After Time, uh, 12 Monkeys, you know, anything that was time travel I could get my hands on, I would, I would watch. I know you guys shoot in Toronto, but uh, how active is sci-fi uh, on set? Like, uh, how, how often are you talking to the network about? Oh, we talk to them daily. I mean, they, um, you know, there's an extensive notes process um, that goes through every one of you drafts of your scripts. They they take a look at every revision and we'll have something to say about it. But they've been extraordinarily uh, supportive of um, you know we're you know a complex show or a smart show. We believe that our audience is smart. We believe that all shows should think that. So that's uh, and they've helped us embrace that and embrace it themselves. Mm-hmm. Can you tease what's ahead for Aaron? Aaron. Noah Bean's character. No well, there's not much ahead. Yeah. Of right. But that doesn't mean you won't see him again. Okay. It's good to see. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a fan of their character? Well, I mean, I was a fan of Nikita, so I was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see, we're planning on seeing some more folks from that world. Cool. I gotta get Melinda Clark on the show to find a way to get Melinda Clark. Boy, she'd be a good Jennifer's mom, wouldn't she? All right, I gotta think about that. Mm. So the magic happens. Yeah. Well, I, the other, it, it, I mean, this is the great thing about show business. We were, we were trying to figure out who would play this character, Dr. Eklund, um, uh, Michael Hogan's character. And, um, you know, we're like, you need somebody fun, you know, somebody you can change up. And I, and, and I just said out loud, I'm like, oh, Michael Hogan. You know, because in real life, Michael Hogan is a really fun guy. You know him as Colonel Tar and he's mad, but he's actually really fun, but can still do that other thing. And then you know, three weeks later, he's on your show. You know, that's as, as a television geek, a sci-fi geek, that's the best. Have you had other actors who reach out to you asking if they could guest star or anything like that? Yes. yes. Yeah, so we'll see. Cool. I think I'm going to pull the way.